Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Uh, we're here at Muslim Fest 2012 and we are looking, what are we looking at? This is a Lego display. So I have a, my name is Mazda. I have a blog that teaches kids Quran using Lego pieces. Okay, and what's the blog? It's, it's readwithmeaning.wordpress.com. Readwithmeaning.wordpress.com. So maybe you can just tell us about this one. This display, uh, there's three displays that relate to the story of the people of the cave. So this is the first display. You will see that the first three people over from here, mm -hmm. these are representing people of the cave. So they are worshippers of one God and they are in a kingdom where this worship is a punishable offense. So they are asked to recant their faith within three days. And this story is mentioned in Surah Kahaf. So we see that falling on to the next set, so these three people, they escape. Right. And they come to this cave. Okay. And they're very exhausted after they escape and they just fall asleep. Before falling asleep, they pray to Allah that Allah saves them from the king. And what happens, Allah recounts in the story, is that they are made to sleep for 300 years. Right. And this they didn't know. When they woke up, they thought they just slept a day or part of a day. Right. But 300 years. So then they get hungry and they send their youngest person to the marketplace to buy some food. And they explicitly give the instructions to buy pure food. So this is why you can see that he is buying fruits and vegetables. And what happens is he uses a coin, a silver coin, that's over 300 years old. So the people are like, this is not our currency. Where did you find this from? Mm -hmm. This leads to these men being discovered by the king of the present generation. Okay. And the, the story, the theme of the story is that if Allah wants to protect you, no one can harm you. And it's also mentioned in the Bible. So the Bible, the seven sleepers of the Jesus. Okay. Right. These three depict their story. Okay. Uh, you have a few other pieces, but we'll just keep talking about these. Um, or Lego, which is what these are made out of, they don't make these kits. So you've assembled these. Yes, that's good. And uh, how did you draw the inspiration to to come up with this idea, this approach? This approach? I, I saw that most kids and most Muslims were just memorizing the Quran without understanding the meaning of the words. And I have to find a way to portray the meaning so that kids and adults could relate to it. And Lego seemed the best way to do it. So this work, like, there is no religious piece in Lego. So they are all random pieces that I assembled throughout many years of collecting Lego. Sure. So that's how these are built on. Okay. Uh, people can learn a little bit more on your website, readwithmeaning.wordpress.com. Uh, but here we're at Muslim Fest in Mississauga. Um, it's the end of day two, pretty much. How have how has your experience been with the children coming and seeing the uh, the pieces? Mashallah, it has been a very enriching experience because I knew that the blog had a lot of hits and the Facebook had a lot of fans. But it was very nice to meet with people face to face. So I've met a lot of kids who are just inherently drawn into the models. And the most popular one has been the one for Surah Okay. And, uh, just the parents explaining the story and you can see that the kids are listening wide-eyed. So that's what I wanted when I started this blog. That people have an interest in the stories of the Quran. Okay. Um, anything surprised you this weekend? I'm actually surprised at not only how well the idea has been received, but how enthusiastic parents are about it. They tell me this is something they haven't seen before, mm -hmm. so they all want more of it. So this gives me a lot of encouragement going forward. Okay, so uh, your name again is? Mezba Mahtab. Okay, and inshallah people can visit your blog. I'll say it just for the third time, readwithmeaning.wordpress.com and inshallah see something maybe they never saw before. Thank you.